Hi, I'm discussing week's two um, discussion topic that um, talks about the ideas presented by Ms. Patel, the principal, Ms. Diaz, um, a veteran teacher, and Mr. Yang, a um, kindergarten teacher in regards to um, class and within class groupings of a set of students. Um, <clears throat> Uh, in preparing for this, the opening of a new academy, the principal comes to the teachers and says that they have to do something different and what is the best way to address our problem um, of such diverse learners. Um, my first reaction to that um, in regards to discussing the ideas of Ms. Patel is um, Ms. Patel is like really looking at the um, situation um, kind of as a problem. <laughs> well, she says that there's a problem. So I have a problem with her saying that's a problem. Um, because um, in inclusion basics that we had in last week, um, in our micro competencies, they're, um, they focused on the um, philosophical shift that um, schools have had towards students instead of having them housed out in, um, you know, Bunkers way out on the far side of the school, they're more um, students or all students are included in environments um, that's the least restrictive. And that has been happening more and more over the decades. So students should really be viewed um, through the lens of what they can do and what they're capable of doing as opposed to problems having to be to being solved. Um, <clears throat> um, and um, but since she's a principal, uh, obviously, we have to work to try to find um, an approach to um, the question that she has. And the question that she has is valid. It's just um, how she asked it would be my response to um, her um, question that it's how she asked the question, not um, <clears throat> that the question isn't valid. In response to um, Ms. Diaz, <clears throat> saying that we should take all the students and group them into one um, lump group. The the benefits of doing that makes it kind of easier on the teacher because um, students with similar academic backgrounds, it's easier to teach to all one homogenous group as opposed to um, having to differentiate for students. But um, that might be easy for the teacher, but not necessarily the best things, best practice for the students because um, students um, really learn and bounce off of each other. So, um, and that's been like seen time and time again. So it would be um, probably much better not to group them um, in regards to that. I know also in the question they asked if, um, if there is a difference in um, the age level and does that change with the need? Yes, that definitely changes with the need. I think, um, much younger students, it might be um, easier to group them in, um, you know, the same academic track as opposed to older students. Um, younger students might not notice that um, they're all being tracked. And so um, in that respect, you know, students that are in the higher group might not become, um, you know, arrogant and the students that are in the lower group might not become, you know, really uh, doubting themselves and feeling um, uh, some sort of way because they are being um, put into a, a group and seeing less than. Um, in response to this um, prompt, I agree with Ms. Um, Mr. Yang in his regard with um, taking all the students and putting them in, you know, basically the least restrictive environment and appropriate general classroom setting with accommodations that would best help the students. Um, I totally agree with him saying students need to be exposed to a wide range of individual abilities, um, characteristics and talents. I am, I think that students grow and do well in regards to that and <clears throat> not just only for the student that has um, some gaps, um, but also for the students who are seen as um, at, you know, typical, typical developing students, they grow as well because they learn um, how to deal with, um, not how to deal, but just learn how to work with and be around and um, ha be friends with um, friends that are 
of all different um, abilities and um, ranges. Um, I've included in my notes the um, the um, site for Inclusion Basics, and um, I just a big proponent of um, inclusion um, for all students that can um, that can do well in that environment. Thank you.